All right, this little pig right here is about the best one for a party, a little party pig. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and get it. I wanna keep the whole thing uh, whole and I'm gonna skin it out. And we'll be able to take the whole thing back and put it on the pit. The reason why I'm doing it down here on the ground rather than starting up on top, hanging it up, it's just because it's easier to do it for me to start a little guy like this on the ground. So we're just going to come in here. We're going to start on these back legs and then make our incisions. And uh, once we get the incisions done, we'll go ahead and hang it up and strip the skin off of it. But I want to leave this in one piece. And now all I'm going to do is just start skinning it back. Now, many people don't realize this, but uh, those of you that skin a lot of animals do, that a dull knife is a whole lot more dangerous than a sharp knife. And the reason for that is because with a dull knife, you've got to work so doggone hard that you're forcing the knife to, to cut when you shouldn't have to work that hard with it if you have a good sharp knife. And so it's for that reason that I tell you, before you start doing anything like this, just make sure that you've got a good sharp knife and uh, you'll find that it goes a whole lot easier and it's a whole lot safer. This particular one is a folder. It's made by Diamond Blade. I got one and honest goodness, I cleaned 50 pigs with the very first knife before it ever had to be sharpened. Now, the thing why that's important to me is because I am a terrible guy when it comes to, as far as skills go, to sharpen knives. I just can't do it. You know, there's a lot of people that can do it, but I don't know how to do it very well. So. Anyway, I want a sharp knife. I want it to stay that way. And that way I can, I can get my job done easy. Now, I want you to come up here really close with the camera. I want you to take a look at this. And this is what winds up uh, destroying lots of knives right here. Right here, you notice all this mud? Look at all the mud. Hogs live in some of the dirtiest conditions and all this mud and grit is down inside the hair. And so when you wind up going to cut the animal up, all that grit gets on the blade. And if you don't have a good hard blade, it'll wind up dulling it in no time. What we're gonna do now is cut the hocks right here. See where my finger is? Just poke my finger through it there and then do it on the other side as well, right here. And now we're gonna hang it up. Okay, at this point, now, what we're gonna do, come on over here. I'm gonna take and we're gonna just start getting the skin to where I can get it and peel it off like a sock. So if you take a look now, I skin the legs down, both legs to here, and I just cut through here. Now I'm gonna peel this back over the butt. Once we get it back over this way, we're just gonna trim it up here. Trim it up where I can get my hands on it and pull it tight and get the skin off. I like doing this before I actually gut it. The reason why it's just a whole lot more cleaner, I think. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we wound up, we took the skin back over this way. Like I said, it's kind of like a sock. And I got it peeled back over here and we're just gonna go ahead and Turn this down, cut the tailbone off. What I like to do is I'll take the knife and make a little handle on it now. And what I mean by a handle, make a hole just like that. And on this other side, just like that. And I'll put my hands on it and I can start peeling it off. And as you peel down, you just kind of work it. Work it all the way around. One little tip for you when you wind up doing this, I'm gonna take the knife right now and I'm gonna cut the skin so I can kind of lay it over. You always wanna cut it from the inside. And the reason why is when you cut it from the inside like this, you just come through the skin, cut it from the inside, Take it all the way down. 
I'll tell you why you do that as soon as you get this cut done. Okay, I didn't cut any hair. If you wind up cutting from the outside in, you're cutting all those hairs and you're gonna get the meat dirty. This way, I cut it from the inside out and the meat stays nice and clean. So let me ask you something as a sportsman, as a hunter, how many knives do you think that you've bought over the years? Just out of curiosity. And where do you buy your knives? A lot of people, I'm not knocking anybody now. I want to make sure that you know that. But uh, I'm just saying that I got to a point in my life, I got kind of tired of buying knives because no knife that I bought would hold an edge. And so it got to the point that I had to do something to be able to, to fix that problem. I'd go up to Alaska and hunt, or I'd go to Canada and hunt, and I'd need to, or Africa, and I'd need to have a nice sharp knife. And lo and behold, the knife would be sharp when I pulled it out of the sheath, but guess what? It wouldn't be sharp when I needed it. After about the third or fourth cut, it got dull. And so it's for that reason I finally said, you know what? The old saying, you get what you pay for, is true. And it really is true, and especially in knives. There's a ton of people in the knife space, and uh, you know, there's some good knives out there but there's only one that I know of that has friction forging and that's what makes the diamond blade steel as strong as it is. And so, you know, if you're tired of just all the different knives you've bought through the years and not having them hold up, you may want to consider looking at a diamond blade because I give you my word, they are scary sharp. Okay, at this point right here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the skin the same way we did on the back, we're going to skin, cut the skin right down here. Just again, from the inside out, just like that. It almost makes it look unreal how sharp the knife is. And I wind up twisting it. Normally, I have somebody with me to hold the body and I just twist it, and there it goes. So what you've got now. We pulled the skin off of it all in one piece, right here, okay. And if you take a look at the, the carcass here, it is extremely clean. So what I want to do at this point is I'm just going to remove these little feet. And you just find a little joint here, and you cut it, and you get them off of there. So, we just got it held up by one leg. We're gonna make an incision right down here. Okay, and you don't wanna to go too deep. Go too deep, you're gonna hit the, the guts. Okay, always wear gloves, all right? Now let me get it to where it's hanging still. If you take a look at my fingers right here, my fingers on the inside of the gut cavity. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna pull pull the guts or push the guts back and I'm going to take the point of the knife and I'm going to come down with it like this so that way hopefully I don't puncture the guts. I come down here and try to get in the middle of the sternum and then I'm very careful and just cut it all the way down and what that does it opens up the entire cavity here. See that? And whether it's a small pig like this or a big pig, it works the same. So I'm gonna come in here, start trimming this all off. There we go. Now what I wanna do is I wanna come in here and there's a kidney. I'm just doing this real fast. Again, this is just wiggly. This is really not ideal. I like to have it where it's firm, but it gives you a good idea of how to do it. And uh, we wash it right up and it's gonna be good eating. If y'all got any questions or comments about the video, go ahead and post them below. I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. And I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you got any requests, you'd like to see us doing any other videos on the channel here, please let us hear from you. If you want to get uh, in touch with Diamond Blade Knives, we'll have a direct link uh, in the description below on this video. Just get a hold of them and I promise you, these dudes are scary sharp. <laughs>